having fun in the hobby room. Hope you join me. Please subscribe. F86 build. Coming soon. More and more videos. Okay, here we are. One more try now. One more try on this. Get this plugged into the gear channel. Turn my radio on. Plug power into the receiver. Okay. Gear up. Let's move the wire to the side. Gear up. Oh, man. So, we have to make a little spot here. It seems... Holy, that is such a small amount, you guys. Okay, move it from there to there. I gotta take it out just a little bit with the sanding disc. Man, oh man, that's a small amount. Okay, that is a tiny amount. Let me just think here. That sanding disc is probably going to take too much. I'm just going to cut it out. Very carefully. Okay, so. Let's fold this up. This way. And just. Now this should be painted these sections. I've been noticing on some of the pictures I've been looking at. And we will have to paint this black inside here. So that's okay if it doesn't look perfect now. It will. It will. Just a little bit more here. Okay, there. Now, I haven't shut my radio or the... You see, before you glue any of this stuff in, it's always good to test spin everything. See? That wire doesn't even slide, it's been in there. Okay, so we can have just a little more. What do you guys think? It's pretty good, eh? Tucked up there nice. Shoot man, I get attached here in some type of maybe we'll look at that. Attaching some type of um, door. Okay, so I know I'm gonna cut just a hair more. And then we're gonna glue up and get this tire going. Okay, see, I just wanted to rub just a hair there. what really matters so remember I had to grind these down a bit so using two of these that 
That will mount there like that. Okay. Then this plate will mount in there. This is all lower than this. Yep, that'll be good. So, then we gotta get the aileron here. Servo horn in there. I've already got this hinged. I'm not too happy about that, remember. I would have liked to make my own hinges. We're gonna do something really fancy here for the flaps, I promise. The flaps are gonna be cool. Well, I'm gonna pop to these end. First off, I think I'll glue them together with CA glue. I will, I will, I will. What have I got here? I have some medium stuff. It doesn't set quite as quick. It's good, okay. That's lots on there to make those set together. There we go. Squeeze those together. And all that CA glue is curing. I will give it a little help. There's just a tiny help. I'm gonna mix some epoxy. We'll come back and we'll glue this in. Right back. Okay. Got a little bit of epoxy mixed. Now, ha, you guys probably thought of it. I forget, didn't I? I see there's some paint on here. So, I'm going to use a little bit of sandpaper here and sand across this stuff. I don't want any problem with my landing gear. So, I will sand all that. Okay. I want to make sure that there's a good coating of epoxy on this. And all these spots. I want to make sure that These ends, all these spots where it's going to be good contact. Okay, this is an important join, you might say, because we surely don't want the landing gear coming loose. So, I have to go quick. I am using five minute epoxy now it's running out I can see that I got a little extra right so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this upside down okay like I said I want to turn it up this way have that epoxy run back onto the wood. It's only going to take a couple minutes because, well, it's only five minute epoxy. Squeeze that in and hold it there. Let's see, yep. Uh oh. Hey! Quit that. Sorry guys, that was my cat attacking the something on the floor by the tripod leg. Uh, I don't know what it was. You see now there's any excess glue in there. It's gonna come towards the wood. I want to help it here. This piece of wood 
is really secure in my wing. You better believe it. You know, when you get ARFs, and this stuff's already put in for you, a lot of times i found, especially my guiles I had, I guess in my crash videos probably, um, man, I locked the landing gear up right away on that. That one, the landing gear would be knocked out when you took off the ground. Okay, so, that's just about set up and ready to go. So, as soon as it's completely cured, I screw and put the tires in. I'll put this in. Now, servo and servo horns here for this one. Now, their container they had. So here it is. the only control horn I have two of left in the kit. So that's for that elevator. This side and they gave me this little rod. Oh no I need some other parts from in here. I always use a bowl or something you guys for all these kits. The parts come in so I dump them all into one bowl and that keeps them together. Now I don't know why I'm putting together here. Okay, fine. This is a little part. Okay, it's for my servo horn. I'm just going to put it there because I use that. Put the servo horn out. Servos always come with lots of different ones, but you only need the one side. This one. Now, I'm not going to trust that. I use the same battery pack here to power up my just my plain old ordinary servo tester. There, see now, that's centered. See, now by doing this system, now I can pull that servo horn off, and now I can set it straight up and down there. Now I can put the set screw in there with confidence, knowing that it is centered to the servo. And since it's a metal gear servo with a metal screw, guess what you got to do? Yes. Lock tight. That's for sure. You really hate one of these screws to come loose on you. So a little dabble of lock tight on it. And make sure that servo horn's in the right direction. And in it goes. There we go. Now, you know that's there. Now where do I want to put the aileron? I believe I'm going to need a programmable radio so all the way out. Now I have to drill a little hole. Yeah. We'll go second to the end. You know, you can always put a different servo horn on it one day and change that. So I drilled. I have a little hand drill here. You know, they're just handy. I drilled that out. Now, this here piece. Put in there. See the drill and these are the same size. I already know that. That's why I use that drill. But so many of these servo horns. Other people have every other way. Oh no. 
I hate dropping pieces. Uh oh. Okay, cats, help. Where'd that piece go? Well, you guys, I'm gonna crawl down on the floor. I'll be right back. 